Hello, my name is Peter Maurer with Humphrey Products. Today we are going to touch base on general pneumatic system safety basics as well as valve selection and installation. Because there are endless types of pneumatic uses in systems, we will just touch on basic pneumatic fundamentals. Pneumatic systems are an invaluable and critical element in today's world. We are surrounded by pneumatics in one form or another. From semi-trucks and trailers to manufacturing, the world relies on air systems to get things done. When working with pneumatics, don't take chances. Compressed air is a powerful medium. Always review the system you are working on. Understand its pressures, capabilities, and safety protocols. Always disconnect the supply air and exhaust the system of any pressure before maintenance or service is started. When installing or replacing a valve or component, understand what its function in the system is and what the valve performance does. Always know and understand risks, hazards, and failure modes as people, product, and equipment may be at stake. Pneumatic systems and components are inherently dangerous. Never attempt to construct, replace, operate, or service any component of a compressed air system unless you have been specifically and properly trained to do so. Pneumatic systems should only be serviced by individuals who understand what they are servicing and the dangers involved. If you have any doubt of what you are doing, please stop and immediately consult an expert. The first step to consider is valve selection. Make sure you choose the correct valve for the application. Use the appropriate valve for the appropriate function. For example, do not use a three-way valve when a two-way valve is needed, or do not use a proportional valve when an on-off valve is needed. Next, you want to ensure the valve pressure rating matches the system pressure. Do not use a 100 PSI rated valve in a 120 PSI system. You want to make sure you control the solenoid valve with the correct signal. Do not apply 24 VDC to a 12 VDC valve. Do not use AC voltage for a DC voltage rated valve. Lastly, make sure the valve is rated for the media you are using. If your system is using an aggressive media, it is imperative the valve seals are compatible with that aggressive media. The first element is fittings. Select the appropriate fitting and ensure the thread of the fitting is the same as the thread of the valve. Be sure to use thread sealant. The most common sealant options are fittings with sealant pre-applied, Teflon tape, or thread paste. When using thread sealant, be sure to start at the second or third thread to make sure no tape will contaminate your flow path. When starting the fittings by hand, always feel for unusual resistance from cross-threading, contamination, or thread damage. After the fittings are hand-tight, use your wrench to finish installation, providing adequate torque to seal the fitting while making sure the appropriate thread engagement and torque levels are met. Please consult the manufacturer or industry guidelines to make sure fittings are adequately and appropriately safely torqued in the valve. When installing the valve in your system, always make sure the system interface matches the newly installed fittings and are tightened to the appropriate torque level. Be sure to securely mount your valve to an appropriate bracket or wall as the valve may move when actuated or energized with air. Do not assume the valve porting and system tubing will keep the valve in place. Always properly secure the valve. This will also ensure there will not be any additional stress on the electrical wires or pressure lines due to valve movement. Many valves may be installed multiple ways. Make sure your valve is plumbed correctly. Consult the valve manufacturer for various options a valve may be used properly. See the example next. These are some examples of proper porting for typical three- and four-way valves. Consult the valve manufacturer for proper use. The second element is electrical connection. Make sure the valve voltage is appropriate for the system and position it is being installed in. For example, use a 24 VDC valve where a 24 VDC valve is required. 
do not use a 24 VDC valve where a 120 VAC valve is required. Use the appropriate mating connector to ensure a proper connection. When connecting a valve, make sure you understand if your valve is polarity sensitive. If so, keep positive to positive and negative to negative when installing the valve. If using wire leads, make sure they are secured properly with an appropriate connection source. Regardless of connection method, make sure no bare wires are exposed. Thank you for your time today. Hopefully you have a better understanding of valve specifications, system capabilities, and proper installation relating to pneumatic systems. These factors are major considerations for proper system development, maintenance, and safety. Never take shortcuts or service something you don't understand, because equipment, product, and people's well-being may be at stake. Pneumatic systems should only be serviced by individuals who understand what they are servicing and the dangers involved.